This isn't the first time that I've called for the arrest of Maxine Waters. And I think it's time we do something about this type of behavior that she's, she's um, pushing onto Americans. This is not the first time that she's told people to go out and attack others when she didn't get her way or she just didn't like a group of people. <clears throat> That's called anarchy and it's a form of terrorism. We need to stop it. She is the exact reason I think my daughter's not with me now because within a few days of her um, telling an angry mob to get ICE and their family and ICE kids and then to get to go out, she provoked people and told them to go after Trump supporters. Within days of that happening, my daughter, Tiara, was wrongfully removed and I have yet to see her returned home. Even after cooperating and doing everything these people asked me to do, this is disturbing behavior from somebody who's a politician. When she doesn't get her way, she tells people to attack the people that um, that she's opposing. That's anarchy, and it's also a form of terrorism. There hasn't even been a verdict in the Chavez trial yet, and she has already decided that she's going to tell her supporters to make sure that there is unrest in the streets and that they need to protest and riot just like they did before. This is a huge, huge, huge problem. We can't have politicians doing that type of behavior, especially after what we saw last summer. How many other property owners is it going to take to having their properties destroyed before we do something about what Maxine Waters is um, pushing on people to do? If I had done something like that, I would have gone to jail. So I don't understand why she's still allowed to run free when she's provoking and inciting riots. Now, remember, they just had a trial regarding Donald Trump trying to holler that he had incited the riots on January 6th when he did not. In fact, most of the people that participated in that incident were actually Democrats and not Trump supporters at all. That's documented. So I want people to pay attention how prejudicial the system has become towards people that uh, one group just flat out doesn't like. They'll do anything in order to destroy them, including wrongfully persecuting and prosecuting people that they just flat out don't agree with. This is the reason that we have the Constitution and we have our, um, our basic civil rights is so that we don't have this type of thing happen. Maxine Waters needs to be removed. And personally, I think she should spend some time in jail for what she's doing to our people. She's giving the impression that violence is the answer, and it's something that needs to stop. Because look what it's done to America so far. It's destroying it. And if we don't draw the line and make it stop somewhere, it's only going to turn our country into a third world type of a, of a, of a um, country. And we, none of us wants that, especially after everything everybody's done and sacrificed in order to get where we are now. <clears throat> People like Maxine Waters should be ashamed of herself. She's not going to apologize. She's just going to keep on inciting riots and violence until we make her stop. The only way to do it is to arrest her and to put her in jail. She should be charged with this as a crime because that's what it is. It's time for us to stop playing favorites, put the blinders back on Lady Justice, and prosecute these people because they've caused so much damage. I know how much damage they've caused in me and my children's lives and my family's life. It's horrific. It's no excuse for it. We need to do something to make it stop. And the only way to do that that's fair and honest <clears throat> and humane is to start arresting people that, that incite this type of behavior like Maxine Waters is doing. With God's love, God bless America. Have a blessed day. And back the badge.